Hello everyone, welcome back to Ramon at Home and to another Christmas video for 2022. I could not be more excited for you guys to see this beautiful Christmas tree DIY because it is perhaps my favorite and most beautiful Christmas tree that I've ever decorated here on YouTube and a glam theme. You know that I love decorating Christmas trees and I just want to inspire you to get out of the box and do something different. And this Christmas tree for 2022, it's that different, beautiful, glam, absolutely gorgeous. So if you are interested in how to decorate a beautiful Christmas tree, please stay tuned. Don't forget to like this video and share with your friends. And if you're new to the channel, please consider subscribing because you will not want to miss all of the Christmas videos coming this year for 2022. Okay, with all of that said, I want to invite you to check out also a playlist of Christmas trees in the description box below if you want to get inspired with different themes for your Christmas decorating 2022. Are you guys ready? Let's get started. All right, everyone. So before we start decorating this gorgeous Christmas tree, I want to mention two things. Number one is it's better if you have all of your tools at the ready. And that's why I put this little table right here. I have my ribbons, which we're going to start. We'll talk about in a minute. I have also my scissors, my wire cutters, and I have already pre-cut a whole bunch of wire that I'm going to use to attach some of my ornaments. So it's best if you just have them all at the ready. The other thing is that you need to prep and fluff your tree if you just took it out of the box, most likely it's gonna need some tender care and love. And if you just purchase it, well, it's gonna be the first time that you fluff it, but I guarantee you, if you take your time to fluff your tree, it's going to look more beautiful, your ornaments are going to sit on it better, and it's just gonna look more um, put together at the end. So what I'm going to do is I'm gonna take a second to give this a quick fluff, and I'll be right back with you. Keep watching. Okay, so for our ribbons, I chose three different sizes and also textures of ribbons. My main one is going to be this beautiful striped gold that is a D. Stevens ribbon, I believe. And then also I chose the uh, rose gold to go with it. And I'm going to use this stripe as an accent at the end. So I'm going to use these two as my main ribbon. So I'm going to put this one back. And I want you to mention also, this is a four inch ribbon and this is a two and a half inch ribbon because we're going to layer them for more texture on our tree. So let's get started. The very first thing we're going to do is we're going to start just with one ribbon. So I'm going to start with this guy right here. And you know that I like to have my tools on the ready, like I said. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut this out of slant. And I absolutely adore this ribbon because it has a beautiful gold stripe, but it's kind of see-through and it has a um, burlap kind of texture to it. So it's really pretty. I absolutely love it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to start by pinching right here. I'm going to go under. And if this is the first time watching one of my videos, welcome. I really hope that you enjoy this beautiful tree that we're putting together for you. And there's going to be a whole playlist down the comment section below for you to get inspired for the holiday season. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to start with just one loop. I'm going to bring it down and I'm going to go all the way up right here. And I'm going to attach it with my wire that I put on it. So that's the only wire we're going to use. And I'm going to fluff that. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to go down with my ribbon. I'm going to give it a little bit of a curve, about probably six inch. Then what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab a bristle right here. And I'm going to give it another curve right there. And what I want to do is I want to do another one. But remember that this right here is what's going to give the movement to your ribbon so you want to make sure that it's not flat you don't want it to sit flat like this um, that's a big no-no so that's going to be two and i'm going to do a third one right here always twisting and pinching because that's what's going to give your ribbon the body that it needs so i'm going to do one more as you guys can see i went flat but then you will go like this and you give that life to your ribbon then you grab a bristle and just push back to attach it to it so we're going to do three right there i'm going to cut right here and I like to cut the bottom ones with a dovetail because I just feel like it looks more finished and I'm gonna leave it like that. So now I'm gonna go over to this side. Oh, before, let me grab a wire. So I'm gonna need a wire. Then right here, I'm gonna cut out a slant. Remember to always at once on the top, always cut on a slant because it just makes it look more finished, cleaner looking. So I'm gonna do one more time, a little loop and twist. I'm gonna grab my wire, then I'm gonna attach this together push really hard and we're gonna start right about here we're gonna do a scale down kind of like a step ladder motion so I'm not gonna start with this one on the top the next room will start right here on the top to create that bow that we're looking for 
So then I'm gonna give it a little bit of a give and then I'm gonna go up again and I'm gonna grab a bristle and I'm gonna twist it around my ribbon to secure it in place. Just go back like this and see. Just take your time to fluff it a little bit. If it's too floppy like this, just go ahead and give it a little tug to adjust. And then I'm gonna do one more. We're going to adjust right here. Grab my ribbon. And see now that one's too tight, so now what you need to do is pull up a little bit. And so that's one, two, three, and now I'm gonna cut right here with a dovetail. And just adjust your ribbon like this. And I'm gonna do one right here on the front, so I'm gonna grab another wire while I cut at a slant. These are some good scissors here, Shinoda, let me tell you. Scissors go bad so quick, especially when you're cutting ribbon because of the wire at the edge. You wanna make sure that you get some special scissors for ribbon, so that way they last you longer. If you just get any type of scissors from like, let's say Walmart, they're not gonna last you very long because they're not meant for wire for a ribbon with a wire in it. So you wanna make sure that you get yourself a good pair of scissors if you're gonna be doing this for a living. So I have one here, one here. So I wanna go step down. So I'm gonna start right in here. I'm gonna give it another loop right here. Grab my wire and just twist in one of the branches like this. This ribbon is absolutely gorgeous. I cannot wait to show you more DIYs with this ribbon. Maybe a wreath, maybe a swag, but I just think it's so beautiful because it has so much texture and volume to it. All right, so now I'm gonna start going that way. So I'm gonna pinch right here one more time. I'm gonna finish adding this ribbon. I think you kind of get the gist of it where we're going and I'll be right back to explain step number two. Keep watching. All right, everyone, so our next step is going to be to add this beautiful glittered rose gold ribbon. And for this particular one, what I'm going to do is I'm gonna dovetail instead of a slant on the top because it's a smaller ribbon. So the, uh, the wider the ribbon, the less loops you need, but the smaller the ribbon, the more loops you want to do so it shows better. So with this particular one, what I'm going to do is I'm gonna do a two loop. I'm gonna grab my wire, pull back really tight, twist, and then I'm gonna start right here where we started with the other one. And I'm gonna start with a bow and I'm gonna grab a bristle and twist right here. And you see how this right here makes up for the bulk of that one. And so what I'm going to do is I'm gonna start doing the same loops that I did on this side. Remember to give them a little bit of body like this. Now, if your ribbons get a little wrinkled, don't, don't, don't fret and just continue working and we can always fluff them at the end. So there's two, I'm gonna do a third one right here. Now these loops have to be really big because the, um, the tree is very, it has a lot of space. So you wanna make sure that you do those loops. Let me grab my scissors real quick and another wire. I really recommend to have all of your tools at the ready because it will make your work so much faster. Look at that. So there's one, look how beautiful. So now I'm gonna move to the other side and I'm going to do the other side. Now this particular ribbon, it has a lot of glitter and look how beautiful it sparkles. Every year we do a rose gold and gold theme and this year, you guys, I cannot wait for you to see all of the things we're gonna add to this tree. We have so many beautiful flowers. I don't think I've ever done a Christmas tree here on the channel with florals and it's going to be absolutely gorgeous. So I cannot wait for that. But before we get to the beautiful flowers, I have to continue adding these ribbons. So I'm gonna start right here on the top and I'm gonna go all the way in, twist like this fluff my ribbons a little bit. I'm gonna go under like this, and then I'm gonna give it a loop, and then pinch, and with the same bristles of the tree, just go ahead and wrap it around, give it a little body. I'm gonna do this again right here, wrap it around. This one is too loopy, so I'm gonna pull a little bit like this, and then I'm gonna do one more right here. And that's so important for you to know that you can use all of those bristles on already in your tree as your wires. So that way you don't have to wire your ribbon. If you were doing a fresh Christmas tree, you would have to wire every single piece of ribbon that you put in it because the um, branches on your tree do not have 
the uh, wires on them. So it's a little bit more tedious, but it can be done. If you do like a fresh tree more than an artificial tree, then it can be done, but all you have to do is wire every single one of them. So I'm gonna add another bow right here. I'm gonna grab this particular ribbon and just twist it. And as you guys can see, it's just a little touch of this rose gold. There's going to be some ornaments. Sorry if I give you my back for a second, but I have to see where this guy is going. So I'm gonna put it right here and just fold back, twist. Make sure that you see all of that beautiful glitter. Look how pretty this is looking. And so remember, we have a third ribbon that we're going to add at the end as an accent, which is going to be this one right here. And that's gonna be added when we're done with all of our ornaments and our florals. This is gonna be a little touch. All right, well, I'm gonna continue adding this rose gold ribbon, and I'll be right back with you. Stay tuned. Oh, hi, I really hope that you are enjoying the video today and that you're learning something new when it comes down to decorating a beautiful Christmas tree in a glam theme for 2022. But right now, I want to take a second to invite you to come and check out my Etsy store where you can get the exclusive Ramon at Home ornament for 2022. The quantities are limited and I really hope that you'll get your hands on one because it really is absolutely beautiful. Let's get back to the video. All right, so we're done adding the rose gold or pink ribbon, and now we're gonna leave this one. I just want you to see how beautiful this is, but we're gonna leave it at the end. And it is a stripe, but it's vertical stripe, and it has this beautiful pattern with two shades of gold, but this is going to be done at the very end. So now what we're going to do is I'm gonna add some of these big ornaments, and this is gonna be to fill in some of the gaps on my tree, so I wanna make sure that I put them in places. Let me show you, like right here, and with this size ornament, this is as far up as I would literally go. Anything bigger than this up on the top, it would just look out of place. But right here, it looks perfect. Now, when you are adding these ornaments, remember to go on a zigzag motion or pattern. As a friend of mine likes to see, the pattern, patterning of your tree needs to be on a zigzag. So your eye travels throughout the tree in a beautiful way. So now I'm gonna add this guy right here. And with these large ones, be sure to just stick them as far in as you can and just grab the wire and twist it in. Remember, all of these ribbons are gonna be flat at the end. So go like this. Now we're gonna go over to this side. And I have about six. This is a seven and a half foot tree. And for a seven and a half foot tree, you need probably about six of these large ornaments to fill in the gaps. And so I have a few left that we're going to add. Remember to go in a zigzag motion and we're going to go all the way to the bottom. So you might not see me all the way here, but this tree needs to be decorated all the way around. And the last one I'm going to add, remember what happens on the left needs to happen on the right. So we're going to go all the way on the bottom on the other side and we're going to add this big guy right over here. Yep. All right, so for the rest of my ornaments, I have gathered a selection of gold ornaments and different shades and then also in different mats and sizes. So what I want to do is I want to go ahead and do some clusters. So I already have them pre-wired. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to wire some of them together. So I like to do this too, and then I'm going to add a small one right here. So I'm going to add all of this together like this, and I'm going to do one wire. So that way they're clustered together like this. They're going to show better than if you were to polka dot them all the way throughout your tree. So I'm going to start right here, and I want to go ahead and put it in and then grab a bristle and just twist it and as you guys can see it just adds a cluster of ornaments right here it gives it more interest and it just looks more beautiful so i'm gonna do it one more time and alternating all the shapes of the ornaments so that way there's more texture in your tree and it's going to look more uh, pleasing to the eye so i'm gonna grab these two then i'm gonna add maybe one of these matte ones and look how beautiful this is now all of the clusters don't have to be the same in case you were wondering. So I'm gonna add this one right here. I'm just gonna twist that wire into the bristle. And look how beautiful that just fills in. I'm gonna do a few single ones, especially towards the top. When you get up here to the top, you wanna make sure that you fill in with some of your ornaments like this. So I'm gonna add one right there, but because I added a single one, I wanna go in immediately with something different and close to it. So it looks like a cluster. Aye just fell off. When this happens to you, just go ahead and put a little dot of hot glue in there 
and make sure that you have glue it so it doesn't come crashing down again and see how this right here is starting to fill in there's three different ones and what i'm going to do is i'm going to grab one of the small ones as well and i'm going to add it somewhere in there to fill in look at this so i'm just going to grab this little cluster right here and so now this right here looks like there is a big cluster now i have to leave some spots because i have some florals that i want to put in and some picks as well so i want to make sure that i have some place to insert all of those so i'm going to do the same with these guys right here i'm going to cluster two different ones then i'm going to bring this matte one now a cluster can be as many as you like let me show you there's three i'm going to add a fourth one and all you have to do is keep twisting that wire look at this how beautiful is this you have all of the ornaments at once and when you add it to your tree like i'll show you somewhere you can see it right here it's going to add all of that interest another one just fell off but no problem we'll keep moving we'll get back to it in a minute if you really want to prep your work all you have to do is take those caps off and then um, put a glue a dab of glue in it and that way they won't come crashing down it's an extra step you can take all right so let's recap so far we've fluffed our tree first of all we added our gold stripe ribbon then a rose gold ribbon then i added some of the large ornaments and clusters all throughout the tree and now i'm gonna add a few specialty ornaments like these big stars right here what i like about this particular star is because it's so long so basically what you need to do is grab a wire give it a twist and you want to find a branch like right here let me do a tall one so you guys can see where it all hang from it like this right here so we want to make sure that these will hold the weight just roll it a few times and then go back and see how that fills in the hole or the void on that particular space in the tree so i'm going to add another one maybe up here so i'm going to go through here and then i'm going to add it right here that's going to start adding some of those larger voids for our tree and i just love these guys you can position them i have only five so this is gonna have to be scattered throughout and this is a good way to add all the specialty ornaments that you may already have from heirlooms they belong to your mother your grandmother and so this is the perfect way to do just scatter throughout the tree to let them really make a statement and everybody out there has a few ornaments that belong to an ancestor or they are the ones that the children made that you really hold dear to your heart so you want to make sure that you push them as forward out on the branch give them a few twists and then let them hang see and you start adding that layer i feel like i'm gonna add let's see what do i need i think i need another one over on this side and then after this what we're going to do is we're going to add some of the florals and i'm super excited so let me finish with this few and i'll be right back all right you guys so i am back and i just want to show you some of the florals that are going to go in this Christmas tree. Aren't these just absolutely gorgeous? They go well with the gold and the rose gold. They look like antique peonies and roses. They're just absolutely gorgeous. And to accent those, what I'm going to do is I'm gonna use a selection of picks like this rose gold one that is absolutely one of my favorites. And then we're going to combine it with this guy right here. So let's get started. This is gonna be so much fun. What I'm going to do is I'm gonna grab a peony and then I'm gonna grab a rose and then I'm going to grab one of these other roses that are open. And what you want to do is you want to give them some dimension. So I want to pull that one up and I want to bend them a little bit, whatever each way. Then what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab this gold pick and I'm going to layer it like this. And then I'm going to grab this other pick right here and I'm going to layer it. Let's see, where do we need it? On the top right here. But I want to, I want to layer them so I want to make sure that there's dimension in them. So you want to make sure that you grab your flowers and you give them a little fluff like this, having the f uh, that little one up front. Then what you want to do is you want to grab this stem and then you want to spin it around all of your flowers. And what you want to do is you want to bend this in half because you don't want it to come uh, out of your Christmas tree. Then what you're going to do is going to grab this whole bundle of flowers and you're going to add it somewhere in the hole of a tree right here, making sure that you grab a stem and you spin it around and look how beautiful that looks a bouquet of flowers with some glitter picks that's a lot of glitter by the way i'm gonna do another one so i'm gonna grab two of these different flowers and a small rose right here and i'm gonna give them some dimension and i'm gonna bend some of them whatever each way 
Then I'm gonna grab a gold one and I'm gonna layer that like a bed, like this, grabbing all of those together. Then I'm gonna insert this guy right here, which is like the uh, whisper one. So you wanna make sure that you layer all of this together like this. Then you're gonna grab your longer stem and you're gonna wrap all of that around. All of your stems, you don't wanna lose them. So you wanna bend this in half so it doesn't come poking out of your tree. Then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna find another spot, maybe, let's see, maybe right here. And I'm gonna lift some of those branches and I'm gonna stick all of this in here like this and look how beautiful that looks it gives it dimension it gives it play i'm gonna do yet another one over on this side so i'm gonna grab two flowers one of each i'm gonna add a rose then you're gonna grab one of your gold picks layer on the bottom and then we're gonna layer this one right here inside remember to give your flowers a little give and a little play to make them more natural looking then you want to grab a stem and wrap everything around and just bend the other half up. Now I'm gonna look for another spot right here. Remember to work in a zigzag motion. So now I'm gonna do this one right here. And if you need to secure it, just grab one of those branches and attach it. Wool fluff all of our ribbons at the end. All right, I'm gonna continue adding all of these clusters. If you have any questions, be sure to leave a comment down below. And if you are enjoying these videos, also be sure to let me know in the comment section below. All right, you guys, so remember, step one, grab three flowers. Step two, layer a gold one. Step three, layer a rose gold one. So it looks like this. And then what you wanna do is you're gonna grab all of them and tie them together like this. And then we're going to bend up so that we have a cluster. After all their cluster together, what you wanna do is you want to go ahead and fluff the flowers, make sure that they show like this. They look like they're growing from a bush. Then we're gonna find another place and we're going to add it maybe over here. Be right back with you. All right, you guys, so we're done adding all of our floral clusters and this is looking so beautiful. I cannot wait for you guys to see the close up. But before I give you a close up, I want to mention that I left a few flowers to add to the top because there was no clusters on the top. So you do need to add a few of the flowers all the way to the top. Make sure you give them a bend because you don't want your top to look like it's not finished. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna go all the way here like that. And then also I left a few of these single um, picks. This is my favorite pick, by the way. Look how beautiful it bounces. And I'm also gonna add a few of them to the top so the whole tree looks very cohesive. And also one of these gold ones all the way on the top. So we're gonna go from this side over here. You wanna make sure that you do from the top to the bottom so your whole tree looks beautiful and cohesive. Now I do have a few of these left. So you know what, I'm gonna go ahead and might as well just add them in those little voids to continue to add more uh, texture into our tree like this. And just make sure that you go in a zigzag motion and you'll always have a cohesive look. So I'm gonna go over to this side. I'm gonna put it right here. And now what I do have is some a different floral. I think this is, I don't know what the name of this flower is. If somebody knows, be sure to leave it down below. But look how beautiful this is. So basically with this one, I'm just gonna get a curvature on the stamp, and then I'm gonna add that flower. just popping out like that. And I'm gonna do the same on all of the voids that I may have. And if you wanna make sure that you secure, just put a stem of the tree or a bristle through it, and it'll stay. I'm gonna add one on the top right here. Look how beautiful this is. It's looking gorgeous, it really is. So I'm gonna add one right here. In every single place where there's a ribbon, like right here, a, a joint of the ribbon, you can add a flower and just disguise that. Right here, I'm gonna go over to this side to make sure we have some on this side. Wherever there is a hole, just go ahead and add a floral like that right here. These are absolutely stunning. I'm gonna also add a few of them in the bottom to make sure that we carry the theme all the way to the bottom, like that. All right, there's a few picks that I wanna show you real quick, so stay tuned. Okay, so the next pick I'm going to add, and I'm just gonna go ahead and get all of those little bags off of them, free them from their bag and their glitter. <laughs> it's a very similar flower to the one we just added, but it's a gold, look at that. It's just like a little earring 
on a little black dress, right? This is looking absolutely gorgeous and full. And I'm just gonna continue adding some of these stems all the way to the top to make sure. All right, so let's recap real quick before we add our last step. We fluffed the tree, added the big ornaments, the cluster of ornaments. Then we did clusters of flowers with some picks. I did some individual ornaments and individual flower stems all throughout the tree. And the last thing I'm going to add is going to be, actually the, the second to last thing I'm gonna add, is gonna be these beautiful poinsettias because we already have a lot of florals in it, but they're all just regular florals. And for Christmas, I feel like you do have to have some sort of a Christmas flower. So what I'm gonna do is so I'm gonna fluff it real quick. And then I'm gonna add a poinsettia right here. And it just adds an extra touch of floral and an extra touch of um, glitter. So this one I'm gonna do on the top, so I'm gonna leave it long like this. I'm actually gonna put it right here. Going all the way down. And I just have a few, but I did want to make sure that I had that Christmas element on the floral department because you don't wanna have all florals and make it look like a spring wreath. But this poinsettia is just a touch, it's all see-through, so you really don't get to see much of it. And all you have to do is push it all the way in. It's just a little peekaboo of Christmas. I'm gonna continue doing this flower, and I'll be right back to give you the last step. I hope you enjoyed this video. Be sure to give it a thumbs up if you are. Okay, so for our last step, remember I told you I had this ribbon that I was gonna leave at the end. I'm just gonna drop it on the floor and I'm gonna cut some dovetails on it. And what I'm going to do is, now this is a two inch ribbon. So you wanna make sure that it's not a big ribbon. So what we're going to do is just gonna do little bows like this with a long tail. And the long tail you might wanna cut at a slant. No, let's do dovetails because we're already doing it. So might as well. Do it. I'm already covered in glitter, so I'm just gonna put it in my pocket. <laughs> I am so covered in glitter, it's gonna be all over my car. Ugh. All right, so now that we have these cute little bows like this, what you wanna do is you wanna find a place and just do sweet little bows like this and attach them to a bristle and then fluff. And it's just gonna add that touch of sweetness to your tree. But don't forget to dovetail, you guys, because if I come to your house, and it's not dovetailed. Well, I'm gonna ask you for a pair of scissors, like that. Look how pretty that is. It just adds an extra layer. It looks so rich. All right, let's do one more, just for you guys to see. And then I will finish, give it a fluff, and show you the end result. All right, so one quick tail. Then we'll do about five to six inches of loop. We're gonna give it a long tail, remember? The secret on this trick is the long tail. Then I'm going to grab a wire, go back and like right here, I have a hole. So I'm gonna go in here and I'm going to add my ribbon, fluff. Make sure that all of that glitter is showing because when it catches the light, it will look so beautiful and be sure to dovetail. All right, I'm gonna do a few more and I'll be right back. Keep watching. Okay, so we're gonna recap real quick. Remember, the very first thing that we did was fluff our tree. Then the first step was to add the big ornaments. <laughs> really, now you don't even see them. After you add the big ornaments to cover the big holes on your tree, what you need to do is add your ribbons. Remember, we added the striped gold one and the rose gold. After that, I did the clusters of flowers and look how beautiful those are, you guys. They are really a good step for your tree if you're adding any kind of florals to your tree. So after the flowers, I did the clusters of ornaments and then I went in with the big stars that are hanging down on the tree. After that, I added some of these single stem flowers and also the picks all the way to the top. I think it looks really beautiful. One of the last steps was to add the bows right here to add so much character to the tree and I really do think that it looks absolutely gorgeous. I cannot wait to read your comments, so leave me a comment down below and let me know what do you think and what was your favorite part. And if you learned something, a few tricks or tips, be sure to leave them in the comment section below.
Well, that's all I have for today, and I really hope that you enjoyed this beautiful Christmas tree in a Glam theme DIY. I hope that you dare put some florals on your Christmas tree, some stems, and some beautiful ornaments this year to create a beautiful look for your Christmas tree. And remember, there's going to be a playlist in the description box below with other themes of Christmas trees to inspire you to decorate your very own this year. I cannot wait to read your comments, so leave me a comment down below and let me know what part of this three step Christmas tree decorating was your favorite. I can tell you mine was number three, but I cannot wait to read your comments. All right, you guys, well, if you're new to the channel, consider subscribing and you can watch more videos right now. Until next time, bye.